Hi guys, this is Will from VPN Mentor and welcome to a tutorial and review of the Opera VPN. Since it's a free feature included in the Opera browser, we're just going to go through the installation process and then I'm going to test the speed and reliability of their servers. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and leave comments in the section below. Opera VPN is working only with Opera browser, so we need to download and install Opera browser first. Let's go to Opera website. Here on main page, we can see Opera Browser supports Windows, Mac and Linux. We will install Windows version for the purpose of this tutorial. Aside from VPN, their browser now has a built-in ad blocker and battery saver. No subscription is required, that is good for ensuring privacy and there is no need for installing additional extension. Like I said, it's a part of the browser already. So just download and install the Opera Browser and you're done. One more thing worth mentioning is that Opera VPN is available for smartphones and you can download it from Apple Store and Google Play Store. In order to turn the VPN on, go to Settings, then Privacy and Security and enable VPN. A small VPN symbol will appear in the address bar. When you click on it, small window will appear showing how much data you transfer this month. And on the bottom of that window, you can choose your location and see your current IP address. They don't have a lot of servers, but since it's a free built-in feature for a browser, you can't really expect too much. I'm gonna run a few tests now on my local server, and then I'll test the Opera VPN server to compare the results. First the IP info, and you can see we are in Serbia. Now I'll test the speed, and the result is this. Ping is 11 milliseconds, download speed is 54.91 megabytes per second, and upload is 3.93 megabytes per second. Finally, I'll try to access some restricted content on Netflix. I know the show Futurama is not available here, so I'll type that. And as expected, I've got related titles, but no Futurama. I wrote to their support to ask if it is possible to access the US Netflix content through their servers. To do so, I went back to the Opera website and filled in the contact form. After 10 days, there is no answer about Netflix content. Ok, I'll turn the VPN on now and repeat the test. So let's check our IP address. And it's good, it's showing that we are in San Francisco. Let's see how fast this server is. For some reason I couldn't get the results from speedtest.net. So I did it with fast, and it measured 11 megabytes per second and that's not a great result. I'll head to Netflix now to check if we can actually access geo-restricted content. I'll type Futurama again. And it found it! However, when I tried to play it, I've received a streaming error message. So even though it successfully accessed US Netflix catalog, I can't get to load the show. If you want more information about Opera VPN, I suggest you head down to our review page, where you can find a lot of details. There you will find their ratings, some expert and user reviews, and you can also compare it to other VPN providers, which can be very useful. And that's all for this tutorial. There's really not much to see about Opera VPN. It's not the best one out there, but on the other hand, they're an honest company doing their best. It's really impossible to make a good VPN that's fully free. Perhaps some sort of premium plan will help them improve their service in the future. Well, that's it. So, if you liked this video and found it helpful, please like, share and leave comments in the section below. Thank you.